Good evening, family, friends, faculty and staff, Board of Trustees, and Big Square High Schools, Class of 2023. My name is Shakira Allen, and it is an honor and a privilege to stand before you as your 2023 Class Valedictorian. Twenty-three, we did it. We've completed a chapter in life we thought would never end, but this is only the beginning. There's a world out there waiting for each and every one of us and the precious gifts we have to offer. I am proud to say that my class has excelled academically as well as athletically. Whether inside or outside of the classroom, we have made our mark. I would like to take this opportunity to thank the teachers and the coaches that helped shape us into the wonderful young adults we are today. Your hard work doesn't go unnoticed. I would also like to recognize and thank my personal corner. To my mom, you are the literal meaning of Miss Make It Happen. You've always gone above and beyond to make a way out of what I thought was no way. Your love, support, and dedication have made me the best individual I could possibly be, and I wouldn't change it for the world. And for that, I am so very grateful. <laughs> to my family, thank you for the continuous support you all have shown me. Not once have I ever felt like I did not have anyone to celebrate my achievements. You have always shown up and gone over and beyond. I genuinely want to say thank you. To my fellow classmates, I'm so proud of all our remarkable achievements as a whole. I can honestly say we have a magnificent future ahead of us. As we close this chapter in our lives and prepare to turn the page to new beginnings, I want to share words of encouragement to help lead the way with guidance. First, always remember your why. Life won't be filled with peaches and cream, and there are going to be many obstacles in the road making our goals feel impossible. Remembering our why keeps our minds on track and focused so that we can overcome whatever bumps that may occur in our road. As you take on this path ahead of you, keep in mind, you must crawl before you walk. God has already prepared the way. Now he's preparing you. It takes patience. In the words of Martin Luther King Jr., if you can't fly, then run. If you can't run, then walk. If you can't walk, then crawl. But whatever you do, you have to keep moving forward. Next, be courageous enough to be your true self. Never let anyone's opinion turn your goals or beliefs into an exception. It was once said that opinions are like wristwatches. Everyone's watch shows a different time from others, but everyone believes that their time is correct. Maturity is realizing how many things don't require an opinion. Make yourself a priority because you are enough just as you are. If, you, if there's ever a time in life you've become lost or in doubt, God is one call away. Finally, consistency is more important than perfection. What you may have today is not guaranteed. And tomorrow is not promised. Holding yourself to a perfect standard only makes the process harder. Hard work with no consistency leads to nowhere. But hard work with consistency leads to momentum. The world is ours and our lives are what we make them to be. I have worked so hard to be where I am today. These encouraging pointers continuously floated in my mind as I was determined throughout my high school career. Words can't express the great joy 
and gratitude that I felt when I found out that I was the valedictorian in my class. No one can tell me what is impossible because I kept faith even at times faith was hard to depend on. And I hope each of you do the same. Before walking out of these doors today, I encourage each of us to never give up. We have made it through a global pandemic that affected our high school memories. Yet, we stand here with dignity and pride because we made the best of our four years. The best is still yet to come, and may God continue to bless each of us individually on our future endeavors. Congratulations, class of 23.